Taiwan's history is complex and diverse, and the island has been ruled by a variety of powers, from indigenous peoples to European colonizers. Taiwan is home to a variety of indigenous groups that have inhabited Taiwan for thousands of years, the most well-known being the Ami, Paiwan, and Bunun. These indigenous people have their language, culture, and religion, and have played an important role in Taiwan's history and culture. In 1624, the Netherlands established a colony in southwestern Taiwan. The Dutch called Taiwan Formosa exploited the island's resources and actively engaged in trade with East Asia, focusing on the opium trade. However, due to conflicts with the natives and competition with other European powers, they were eventually defeated by the Ming Dynasty, General Zhang Chenggong in 1662 and driven out of Taiwan. In 1662, Zhang Chenggong conquered Taiwan and brought it under the control of the Eastern Empire of the Ming Dynasty. Even after the Ming Dynasty was defeated by the Qing Dynasty in 1644, Taiwan was ruled by Ming loyalists until 1683. In 1683, the Qing Dynasty conquered Taiwan and incorporated the island as part of its empire. During the Qing Dynasty, Taiwan's population composition changed significantly as Han Chinese immigrants from mainland China began immigrating to Taiwan. After losing the Sino-Japanese War in 1895, the Qing Dynasty ceded Taiwan to Japan. Japan colonized Taiwan, exploiting the island's resources and imposing Japanese culture. The Japanese colonial era was a time of oppression and discrimination for the Taiwanese people, but it was also a time of modernization and industrialization. After World War II ended in 1945 and Japan was defeated, Taiwan was ruled by the Republic of China. However, the Republic of China was defeated by the People's Republic of China in the Chinese Civil War in 1949 and withdrew to Taiwan. Since then, the Republic of China and the People's Republic of China have been engaged in conflict over the control of Taiwan. Currently, Taiwan is self-governing under the government of the Republic of China, and although it is not internationally recognized as an independent country, it seems that the majority of Taiwanese people do not want to become one Taiwan has developed into a democratic country and has grown significantly economically. Taiwan is a beautiful island nation located in East Asia, boasting a democratic political system, vibrant economy and unique culture. In recent years, Taiwan has achieved economic growth and social development and has occupied an important position in the international community. Taiwan has one of the most developed economies in the world and is particularly strong in the electronics, machinery and chemical industries. Additionally, the service and green energy industries are also growing rapidly. A strong economy will be the foundation for continued growth and prosperity. Taiwan is a country that invests in innovation and technological development. 
these investments will contribute to the creation of new industries, higher productivity, and increase the international competitiveness. In particular, technological advancements are expected in the areas of artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, and Big Data. Taiwan is one of the most successful democracies in Asia. Democracy ensures political stability, the rule of law, and respect for human rights, which are essential elements for sustainable development. Taiwan has a highly educated and skilled workforce. Additionally, there are many creative and innovative talents in the country. Excellent human resources will be a key driver of economic growth and social development. Taiwan is located in an important economic center in East Asia and has good accessibility to major markets. Additionally, it is located at a strategic point for maritime trade, giving it an advantageous position in international trade. In recent years, China has persistently claimed that Taiwan is part of China and has assured that it will return Taiwan to China even by using force. However, the Taiwanese people strongly expressed their intention for independence by voting for the Democratic Progressive Party candidate who advocates Taiwanese independence. The results of that vote disappointed the Chinese people and China's leadership. But China's leadership has not yet given up its use of force, causing international unrest. Taiwan's future must move in a direction that respects the free will of the Taiwanese people, regardless of whether Taiwan becomes a member of the liberal democratic world or a part of China. Thank you for watching. This is Gina. I worked alongside Tony. Thank you.